to Econ Students. This is Mr. Clifford. Welcome to Econ Movies. Today we're going to look at the economics in the movie Cars. The study of economics can be broken into two parts. First is microeconomics. It studies individuals, businesses, and markets up close. The second part is macroeconomics, which studies the big picture, the entire economy as a whole. Macroeconomists look at things like spending, unemployment, and inflation to find out if we have a healthy economy. Now, the economy is kind of like a car. For example, some cars can go fast. I'm a precision instrument of speed and aerodynamics. The economies of the world's developed countries can produce huge amounts of goods and services because they have the world's best engines. They've got the capital the factories, machines, and equipment that result in high productivity. Now other cars are slow. I'm a precisional instrument of speed and aromatics. Less developed countries have slower economies because they have less capital, political instability, fewer free markets, or just a broken economic system. In the movie, Lightning McQueen's goal is to win the Piston Cup. He did what in his cup? Although some countries are in the running to have the world's fastest economy, it's not really a race. Instead, the goal of every economy is to do each lap a little faster. If an economy is improving and going faster each year, then it's experiencing something called economic growth. The most important measure of a country's economy is something called GDP, or gross domestic product. GDP is the dollar value of all the final goods and services produced in a country in one year. It includes goods like Rusty's bump ointment. Lightning McQueen here, and I use Rusty's medicated bump ointment, new rear end formula. But it also includes services like a paint job. Ramon will paint you upright. Just like how a four-cylinder car gets its power from four pistons, each economy gets its power from four components that make up GDP. Economists have given each one a letter. The first component of GDP is consumer spending. This is spending on things like food and clothes and tires. Four new tires. Grazie, Mr. Lightning, grazie. Consumer spending is the largest and most important part of GDP. So customers are a big deal. Customers, everyone. Customers. OK. Customers. All right, everybody calm down for a long time. Just remember what we rehearsed. All right, nobody panics. Here we go. The second part of GDP is investment. This is spending by businesses on equipment and machinery or other things to improve their business. The next part of GDP is government spending, which is spending on things like national defense, the police, and fire trucks. The last part of GDP is called net exports. It's the value of all the exports we sell to other countries, minus the value of all the imports we buy from them. Lightning McQueen told me this was the best place in the world to get tires. How about setting me and my friends up with three or four sets each? This is the most glorious day of my life. Wow. Spero che il tuo amico si riprenda. Mi dicono che siete fantastici. Added all together, the spending by these four groups, consumers, businesses, the government, and other countries, determines how much we can produce in a year, the GDP. Okay, we're not done. Time has proven that every economy goes through periods when it's either speeding up or it's slowing down. The idea that a country's GDP goes up and down and up and down over time is called the business cycle. And expansion is the good times when the economy is moving fast. There's a lot of consumer spending, low unemployment, and there's a high standard of living. GDP is on the rise and there's economic growth. A recession is the bad times when the economy slows down and there's high unemployment. Remember, a huge part of the economy is consumer spending. And when consumers stop spending, businesses have to close. I won't sell any tires. I will lose everything. When these businesses close, the workers are fired and now they have lower incomes and so they spend less. This causes other businesses to close and the economy gets even worse. If it gets really, really bad, it becomes a depression. That is when the whole economy just crashes. Now these economic downturns are scary. That's why the government often steps in to help speed up the economy. They can either increase government spending or they can cut taxes. This is called fiscal policy. An example of fiscal policy is when the government tries to speed up the economy by increasing public works programs like fixing roads. This here is Bessie, finest road paving machine ever built. You're gonna fix the road under my supervision. Fiscal policy is done by politicians. So whether we should cut taxes or increase government spending is one of the many things that conservatives and liberals fight about. Will you turn that disrespectful junk off? Respect the classics, man. It's Hendrix. Eventually, the good times will return and there'll be an expansion. Life could be a dream. Life could be a dream. Do, 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 Life could be a dream. But eventually, there'll be another recession. That's just the business cycle. So the economy is kind of like a car, 
but it's not on a flat racetrack. It's on an endless highway that continually goes up and down and up and down over time. Nothing's